Yeah! You too, what is up, man? It's your boy, Damn D. Where am I going to post this? I don't know where I'm going to post this. I don't know if I'm going to post this on my first channel or a secondary channel. But this video right here, this right here exposes any kind of Kwame Brown de detractors. This proves to you that these people that are talking about Kwame Brown, they don't really have a problem with Kwame Brown. They don't really dislike Kwame Brown. They don't really hate Kwame Brown. They don't really feel any type of way about Kwame Brown. This all boils down to attention. Since Kwame Brown doesn't pay attention to 400,000 of his subscribers, you know Kwame Brown has 400,000 subscribers. So since Kwame Brown shouts me out, shouts other YouTubers out, a hundred thousand other people feel like they deserve those shout outs. They want to be mentioned. They want to be talked about. People, Kwame Brown must respond to every single email, every single tweet, every single DM. Kwame Brown must respond back to everybody. And if you don't respond back to Kwame Brown, you know what? I hate you. Kwame Brown, I hate you. Not because you're not talking about anything, because you just don't respond to me. You don't see me waving at you. Even though there's uh, 400,000 people waving at the same time. That's like Jay-Z, that's like Jay-Z performing on stage in Madis Madison Square Garden. And there's a fan all the way in the nosebleed. And she's mad at Jay-Z because Jay-Z didn't look at her and say, I see you, girl, way in the nosebleed. Y'all got to do better than this. <laughs> Y'all really don't hate Kwame Brown. You just want his attention. This is all about attention. You want this man attention so bad that you will go to the enemy to get his attention. As long as you get your point across and he knows that you were there waving at him, all you want is acknowledgement. That's all these detractors want is acknowledgement. So that means from day one, you was never a true supporter of his real message. Because guess what? Kwame Brown never respond back to my emails. And I can show you that. When I was trying to email Kwame Brown, he never respond back. Did you see me go off, make an exposing video, start popping up on people's panels, talking negatively about Kwame Brown because he didn't respond back to my email? <laughs> Boy, y'all some clowns. This was probably one of the most weirdest exchange that Kwame Brown has had with a detractor. This was weird. Yo, yo, yo. Hello, you there, Miss, what is it? Miss Kearney, Kearney, are you there? Unmute your mic if you're there. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Hi, good morning. Good morning to you. Well, good afternoon. Oh, is it afternoon, yeah? Oh, yeah, it is. Dang, I've been on this thing a long time. Lord have mercy. Hello, everyone in the chat and across the world on YouTube, Kwame Two. Um, Mr. Brown, I have a question for you. Yes, ma'am. Uh, why was that your approach and your go-to to get my attention? Ma'am. Do you know that Kwame Brown has 400,000 subscribers? You're coming on his platform without a picture and a random name. And you expect Kwame Brown to remember exactly who you are. Strike number one. Across the world on YouTube, Kwame Two. Um, Mr. Brown, I have a question for you. 
Yes, ma'am. Uh, why was that your approach and your go-to to get my attention? Say again. Why was that your approach to get my attention? Lady, who are you? Why do you feel so entitled that Kwame Brown is supposed to know you? You're in your feelings because Kwame Brown did, did not acknowledge you. People, y'all have to understand. Trust me, I see, I can relate to Kwame Brown because y'all may not know me, but I'm known in on Instagram. I have over almost like 400,000 subscribers on Instagram. I have another YouTube channel with like 129,000 subscribers. I know what it feels like to be bombarded by text messages, by emails, by DMs, by tweets. There's no way impossible we can keep track of all of that. And we are not entitled to answer every single email and DMs and know who you are. We're not entitled to that. We appreciate your support, but don't stop expecting us to know who you are. Lady, we don't know you. Why was that your approach? and your go-to to get my attention. What approach and go-to to get your attention? You provoke the hell out of me, sir. Now listen to the lies. She said you provoke the hell out of me, sir. Listen to what she's saying. This is, this is, this is the attitude. This is the direction that she's feeding, that she's giving Kwame Brown right off the rip. She said, why is this your approach? You provoke the hell. I bet you her breath was stinky. I bet you was hot and just nasty. She ain't probably even brushed her teeth yet. Just morning breath smelling like open ass and toilet paper. Hi, good morning. Good morning to you. Well, good afternoon. Is it afternoon, yeah? Oh, yeah, it is. Dang, I've been on this thing a long time. Lord have mercy. Hello, everyone in the chat and across the world on YouTube, Kwame Tube. Um, Mr. Brown, I have a question for you. Yes, ma'am. Uh, why was that your approach and your go-to to get my attention? Say again? To get your attention. Why does Kwame Brown want your attention? You see, these people are weird. You think Kwame Brown wants your attention. You don't even have a picture. People, read in between these. These people are weird. Why was that your approach and your go-to to get my attention? What approach and go-to to get your attention? You provoke the hell out of me, sir. I'm confused. Give it to me like I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so... uh we were communicating on twitter she said you provoked the hell out of me we were communicating through twitter communicating means i send you a message and you reply back pay attention to this pay attention to the lies that these people tell themselves and create in their mind behind mm -hmm. the scenes and i expressed something to you as to you know, whatever that was you were doing. And you came back and you called me a victim. So he's provoking her and he called her a victim just to get her attention, according to this young lady. But watch how she exposes herself. I called you I a victim? Like yes, sir. Let me go back to your Instagram. What is it? No, don't say it on here. Let me go try to find what you're talking about. Um, How long ago was this? I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. It was a couple of weeks ago. I haven't been on Instagram. But, uh, no, I didn't say, I said Twitter. If I said Instagram, I... Ah, lady, are you okay? Ah, I ain't drunk. I'm on medication. <laughs> Who's seen that? Yeah, if if, if y'all are a fan of Martin... Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. I ain't drunk. I'm on medication. <laughs> what is it?
Twitter? Apologize, but it's Twitter. Hold on, hold on. Let me go to Twitter. I really don't even make comments on Twitter. Let me go see this here. And I, I said, what? <laughs> well, I just want to know why was that your approach? Uh, you didn't want to make a phone call. Make a phone call? Lady, what are you talking about? Make a phone why does Kwame Brown need to talk to a white circle? These people are crazy. This is insane. This is insane, people. And that's fine. But I ask you to stop provoking a situation at that time. Well, I want to join a live. I'm Hold sorry, on, I have, me and, I have me and your Twitter feed pulled up. Can I show it over here? Because I haven't responded to you at all. Uh, Listen to that. He didn't even respond to her. Remember in the beginning, she said that Kwame Brown provoked him. Pro provoked the hell out of me. Kwame Brown, you provoked the hell out of me. Why was this your approach just to get my attention? You didn't call me. You provoked me. And you were. And you said I was a victim. She said that Kwame Brown did all of this to him. And Kwame Brown didn't say nothing. Um, If you want to go to your inbox. I have my inbox. I have it right here on Twitter. And I haven't responded to you at all. So somebody oh. must have responded to you. That's not me. But I have your name. I have all the way back from Monday, February the 14th, all the way down, and I haven't responded. You've been sending me a lot You're of You're right, exactly. Ex this lady insinuated that Kwame Brown antagonized her, provoked her, was mean, said that she was a victim, and he didn't even reply back. And then once Kwame Brown said, whoa, hold on, I didn't even reply to you. Exactly! And then she's trying to get loud? She has the audacity to get loud. People, what? Yo, this is why celebrities don't communicate with regular people like us. Do you see how crazy some people are? This is, Kwame Brown literally speaks about this. This is why celebrities don't pay us no attention. Because some of these people are such a fan and they are willing to make up lies. People are willing to make up bold faced lies, run with false narrative just to get your attention. And then once they get your attention, they're going to flip the script and say, man, I was just doing that just to get your attention. Man, I'm a big time supporter. I had to troll you some type of way. I had to get your attention some type of way, but you wasn't talking to me. So... I had to become a hater. Exactly, you, just, you, you have even not. Your number. You even said. Oh. Yeah, I want to know why was that your approach? Uh, you didn't want to make a phone call, and that's fine. But I asked you to stop provoking a situation at that time. Well, I want to join a live. I'm Hold sorry, on, I have, me and, I have me and your Twitter feed pulled up. Can I show it over here? Because I haven't responded to you at all. Um, If you want to go to your inbox. I have my inbox. I have it right here on Twitter, and I haven't responded to you at all. So somebody right. must have responded to you. That's not me, but I have your name. I have all the way back from Monday, February the 14th, all the way down, and I haven't responded. You've been sending me a lot You're of You're right. Exactly. Exactly. You, just, you, you have even sent your number. You even sent a yep, booty with I a pimple sure on it. Did. Is, I that, sure your, is did. that your booty with a pimple on it? <laughs> now she's laughing. She sent. 
she sent him a picture of her butt with a pimple on it. Let me ask you, is this your booty right here with a pimple on it? I was up under the covers. I scratched the shit out that thing. I said, what the hell? And I. Hey, boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no 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 fucking way, boy. Called my daughter in. Let me tell you something. My, my body you got a pimple on your booty, girl. It's not there no more. Ashley helped me pop it. But why? <laughs> she called her daughter in to bust a pimple off her butt. They got said, What the hell? I have it right here on Twitter and I haven't responded to you at all. So somebody must have responded to you. That's not me, but I have your name. I have all the way back from Monday, February the 14th, all the way down. And I haven't responded. You've been sending me a lot You're of You're right. Exactly. Exactly. You, just, you, you have even not. sent your number. You even sent a yeah, booty with I a sure pimple on it. Is I that, sure your, is that your booty with a pimple on it? <laughs> Let me ask you, is this your booty right here with a pimple on it? I was up under the covers. I scratched the shit out that thing. I said, what the hell? And I called my daughter in. Let me tell you something. My, my body you got has a pimple on your booty, oh, girl. It's not there no more. Ashley helped me pop it. But why are you coming up here lying on me? You know I didn't respond to nothing. I didn't I didn't you say did, You responded in, excuse me, you responded in your way that you can ma'am I, I have the, i have the text message right here i can scroll it uh i can i can uh i can delete the picture of your booty with the pimple on it and i can scroll up and i can show it that i have not responded to you ma'am but look for future references when somebody is trying to talk to you on a serious note you should probably listen it's probably yeah, one of the I reasons understand, why. i understand that ma'am but coming from my perspective you got to understand something I get thousands of Twitter messages a day. A lot, a lot of them are trolls. A lot of them are people are just saying crazy shit. So sometimes I'm not gonna see it. But if I, I didn't say, it. if I didn't say something, don't create a false narrative. Don't create. I'm not creating a, a false narrative. Ma'am, you literally just said that Kwame Brown provoked you. You said that Kwame Brown called you a victim. That's running with a false narrative. And then when you get called out on something that you're doing, you're going to go right back and say that you didn't do it? Bruh, what world do these people live in? God, I'm telling you, these people do not hate Kwame Brown. Everybody that's going at Kwame Brown, they are mad that they are not getting the attention that they want from him. These people are mad because Kwame Brown is not answering their DMs, not checking their Twitter messages, not checking emails. Bro, Kwame Brown never replied back to my email. Kwame Brown has uh, 400,000 subscribers. Do you know how many trolls hit him up? Do you know how many people want to talk business to him? Quote, unquote, business. Do you know how many people just email him just to say, I support you? Like, like y'all don't, under don't understand because y'all never been in that position. I know what he's, bro, I have over like 400, almost 400,000 subscribers on Instagram. 
I have over like probably like 150 total combined subscribers on YouTube. Trust me, y'all don't know what it feels like to get DMs after DMs after DMs after emails after emails every single day. It gets annoying. You don't want to check your phone sometimes. Y'all, y'all got to get out y'all feelings, bro. <laughs> y'all got to get out y'all feelings. We, us content creators, don't owe y'all nothing. If we choose to respond back, that's our choice. Y'all are not entitled to anything. Just like I'm not going to... Force you to watch my videos. Either you watch it or you don't. And if you support, you support. If you don't, you don't. Come on. Like, y'all gotta. Come on, man. Y'all, y'all doing too much, man. Don't do that. Don't do that. Well, don't you said that. I said I'm something. I'm not. Well, listen to what I'm saying. To you. you right. You have not said anything to me. You don't talk to me. And I. So she blatantly made up a lie. She blatantly made up a false narrative. And she admitted it. I've said enough. Well, we've been responding to each other. It's okay. Cause I'm she said we've been responding to each other. Lady, are you delusional? You just admitted that he did not respond back. And then the next few words you say that we've been communicating what i'm not gonna do that that's about what i do that's not what i do I'm all right well thank you if, if, somebody, if somebody if somebody <laughs> said no, but, you, it wasn't me i apologize okay, for what they but said. i do that's fine and i don't have i don't have a problem with that and you said it wasn't you so that mm -hmm. then i'm mistaken and that's fine However, okay. I do have something else to say. Go ahead. As far as because I've been watching and I've always watched and the behavior of our people is terrible on a strong note. It's really, really terrible. We argue and fight for the smallest things that will never help us in life. Never. It's not even going to help the people in front of you. If you all don't understand, when you walk out your front door, you are a representation of each other in your household. And this is what I taught my daughters. So when you go, and the, and the same goes for me. When I walk out my door, I have to pull myself together and I have to be a representation of my daughters because of the careers that they have and the people that's in their lives. It's, a, it's like a domino effect. When you have professional people in your family and then you have the other side, so you kind of get that balance. And you really do have to be a representation of the people in your area or around you, mm -hmm. specifically your family members. Mm -hmm. So when I see all of it, okay, Kwame, I know you see me go ham on Twitter. I do that for specific reasons. It's because yes, a lot of narratives do get spent. Mm -hmm. They really do. And lies are being told. And we have a lot of grown adults teaching this behavior. So when you deal with the World Wide Web, you have toddlers, you have babies, you have children, you have teenagers, you have young adults, grown adults, and old people on the internet. And you sit there and you arguing and you back and forth. You showing pictures. You doing this and you doing that. Do you know you could be talking to a genius seven-year-old? And even though he may be a genius as far as other things, visually he hasn't seen nothing. So here we go on the internet showing this, showing that. Y'all got to chill. So when I go him, I'm going him for a reason. And because I know how to articulate and speak without actually attacking, my my words can. You're able to speak and articulate without type, without attacking. When your first three sentences that you said to Kwame Brown is, "Why are you provoking me? 
Why did you choose to come at me like that to get my attention? You was provoking me like hell. You said that I was a victim. And he didn't say one word to you, ma'am. Lady, that pimple is back on your butt. Focus on that pimple. Attention hurt. And I'm aware of that. And because I'm a woman and I'm aware of that, I am always mindful. So where, where's the miss at? Because I'm tired and I cry too much. And I'm damn tired. Uh, all right, well, I'm salute tired. to you. I got to get the detractors up here. I appreciate you. Oh, all no right. Problem. <laughs> that was the weirdest thing I ever heard in my life. Oh, man. Um, ladies, let me apologize ahead of time. Ladies, if you're sending me Twitter messages, Instagram messages, and I do not get back to you. And if you're sending me Twitter messages, bunky shots, and especially if they have bumps on it, and I don't get back to you, I apologize. I, I'm scared. Okay. All right. I haven't. I haven't done. That don't mean I did anything to anybody. I really wish that people that try to be with somebody or be around somebody. If it don't go your way, don't make up things on people. This is what's wrong with these movements and these Me Too movements and things of that nature. This young lady came up here and said, I said something. And then I have the entire Twitter feed where I haven't said anything in months to her. So it's sad that all of a sudden somebody would say something crazy to me or say that I said something that they know that I did not say. And maybe she didn't know. So hopefully we cleared that up. I don't, I wasn't trying to come at her in a certain way. I, you know, I wasn't really. They're trying to make me out to be this bad guy. But please do not come up here and say things that I did not do and I did not say. Please. That's all I'm asking. In closing, these people truly do not have a problem with Kwame Brown. They just want his attention. One way or another, these people are willing to do anything, to say anything. They're willing to lie. They are ready to create false narratives. They're willing to go on people that they don't even agree with. They're willing to go on people that they don't even agree with panel just for Kwame Brown to hear him. That's what people are doing because that's the only way Kwame Brown is going to hear them, right? Y'all don't understand. There's no way in the world Kwame Brown can respond to every single message, every single DM, every single email. It is impossible. If he tries to do that, he will literally have no time to do nothing. If he spends his Whole day answering emails, text messages, DMs, Twitter feeds. He would have no time to take a shit. He would be on his phone 24-7. Y'all got to stop high, having these high expectations for one man. If you truly are down with Kwame Brown, you will support him if he acknowledge you or if he doesn't. But just know, if he doesn't acknowledge you, it's not intentionally. It's not personally. He's not personally singing you, singling you out. It's just impossible to get back to everybody. And y'all don't know how redundant it is checking your messages every single day, checking your email. Y'all don't know because y'all never been in that position. So stop being selfish. Y'all being extremely selfish put yourself in his position there's no way he can respond back to everybody 
And I'm gonna look, let me let me just bro. Seriously, Kwame Brown <laughs> still t- still to this day. Look at this. This is a email I sent Kwame Brown. January 17th. It says damn D from YouTube. He didn't respond back. I didn't get mad when he didn't respond back. I didn't go to somebody's channel and then curse them out and said that he was a fraud, fake, phony. I understood and I kept it pushing. Y'all need to get out y'all feelings. Stop having, bro, Kwame Brown is not entitled to answer to me. Kwame Brown is not entitled to answer to you. All, the only thing Kwame Brown is entitled to is to create content. YouTube is his job. When you get paid from a company, that's your job. Whether you want to believe it or not, YouTube is a business. I'm sorry, people, but y'all got to get out of y'all feelings. There's no way in hell Kwame Brown can respond to everybody. And if he does, if if he doesn't, don't take it personal. And if you get mad because of that, that means you were never down with this true message. You just wanted clout. That's all you wanted was clout. And since he, since you feel like he didn't give you what you deserve, then you're going to hate on him. And that's why people don't like Kwame Brown. Just because he didn't respond back to emails. He didn't respond back to DMs and Twitter messages. This is all about getting his attention. (laughs) It's crazy. It's your boy, Damn D. I'm signing out, y'all. Peace.